Hi, Ross with Rescue Methods. We're here at Jermaine Honda today. I'm here with Justin Acton, one of our service technicians, and he's going to be walking us through the Honda hybrids that we have available to us today. Okay, Justin, why don't you walk us through the Civic and tell us the emergency procedures, shutdown procedures, and all the good information that you've already shared with us on the other two cars. Ross, similar to the other vehicles, the shutdown procedures are essentially the same. The new difference with the brand new Civic Hybrid is that it uses a lithium ion battery pack. And the battery pack is actually located behind the rear seat instead of on the trunk floor. As with the all Honda Hybrid vehicles, simply turning the ignition switch off will disable the whole vehicle. And as with all the other ones, when you approach the vehicle, listen for a warning chime and let check out the tachometer to see if it's in auto stop mode. Then simply get in the vehicle, turn the ignition switch to off, and all the vehicle systems are disabled. As shown before, the secondary shutoff procedures are the same. On this model, it has a battery module that monitors the battery state. Simply cut the thicker wire going to the negative terminal, or cut the two wires going to the positive terminal, or both. You can also access the underhood fuse relay box and remove the main fuse. To remove the main fuses, simply clip and remove the fuse box cover. The main fuses are located in line here and here and can be removed with a Phillips head or an 8 millimeter wrench. If you're still not sure whether or not the vehicle is a hybrid, simply pulling back on the trunk lining can reveal the battery IPU module's back plate. All Civic hybrids and the Accord hybrid have high voltage AC compressors that can run when the vehicle is in auto stop mode. These voltage wires have the same current capacity as the IMA motor wires and battery wires and can also be located and identified by the bright orange coloring around the wires. Because the high voltage battery module on this vehicle is located behind the rear seat the removal procedure is a little bit more involved than on the CRZ and the Insight. The first thing I do is move both front seats forward to give myself a little bit more room to access the rear seat area. Then, simply removing the 10 millimeter bolt, holding the lower seat cushion in place, and then popping the seat cushion out. Remove the 10 millimeter bolt and lift up on the rear seat. By pulling out the tabs forward and then lift up. This disengages the clips holding the front of the seat in. Then the seat simply slides out. The next step is removing the side bolsters for the seat back, which is also held in place by a 10 millimeter bolt on the underside of the seat. Remove the 10 millimeter bolt, push up on the bolster to disengage it from the seat back and pull forward. Removing the seat back requires that you remove three 12 millimeter bolts located here, one down here, and the last one over here. Now the seat back is free and can be lifted up and removed. Once the seat back has been removed, access to the battery module on off switch can be achieved by removing these 10 millimeter bolts here and removing the cover. Once the battery plate is removed, you can now throw the switch off to disable the battery module. Now for educational purposes, we're going to remove the IPU unit to show you what the battery module actually looks like. The 2012 Civic Hybrid doesn't use a nickel metal hydride like the other vehicles. It uses a lithium ion battery pack. When this battery pack is exposed to fire or high temperatures, there is the possibility that the pressure relief valve will vent off fumes that could be harmful. It is advised to stay away from smoke and fumes if the battery pack is engulfed in flame. The Civic Hybrid under cable running is very similar to the CRZ. As noted before, bright orange coloring denotes high voltage components and cables. As on the CRZ, this cable is surrounded in a high strength steel 
and inside of that is corrugated tubing. Do not cut these wires. There is a chance for high voltage shock. If the vehicle that you're responding to doesn't have the high voltage cable visible due to plastic aerodynamic sheeting, always look for the high voltage warning triangle and try to look through the slats on the panels themselves for the orange coloring of the wires. Okay, rescuers, so we can see on the Civic and Accord hybrids that we're going to have to think about doing something different. We, our tunneling is not an option on these cars, so we're going to have to go up and over or consider other options to access our patients and get them out.